Hello dear student this is Dr Agnes Khara and with me we are we are going to learn study of types of scales in fishes we'll be learning placoid scales cycloid scales tenoid scales and ganoid scales before we actually begin with the type of scale let's learn what are scales in fishes the body of fish is covered by dermal scales that have originated from mesenchyme layer of the body they are small thin cornified calcareous or bony plates that fit compactly or overlap each other the scales vary in size and shape in different species they are made up of three layers that is innermost layer of isoptyne the intermediate spongy layer and outermost dentine layer scales from exoskeleton of fishes and are also protective in function scales from exoskeleton of fishes are also protective in function there are five types of dermal scales found in fishes these are placoid ganoid cycloid tenoid and cosmoid now one by one let us learn types of scales in fishes let's begin with placoid scales placoid scales are also called as dermal denticles this type of scales are characteristic feature of elasmobranchs that is chondrocytes fishes for example scoliodon placoid scales are arranged in irregular oblique rows covering the entire surface of the body they are small pointed and tri -radi radiate denticles composed of basal bony plates and embedded in the dermis a spine projects upward from the bony plate and points posteriorly basal plate of placoid scale is formed of trabecular calcified tissues it is embedded in dermis and held by sharpest fiber and other connective tissues spine is composed of dentin covered by a hard material vitrodentine it is a partly dermal and partly epidermal in origin placoid scale contains a pulp cavity that contains odontoblast dentin forming cells blood capillaries nerves and lymph channels next type is ganoid scales This is a, these are the primitive type of scales ganoid or rhomboidal scales are found in primitive actinopterygi fishes for example poly polypterus acipenser that is chondrosty and lepidopterygius that is holosty ganoid scales are compactly fitted on body wall side by side like tiles these are scales which are heavy and have outer layer of hard inorganic enamel material which is called as ganoid ganoid the middle layer is cosmic containing numerous branching tubules the innermost layer is thickest and is made up of lamellar bone isobdent the scales are usually rhomboid in shape and articulated by peg and socket joints these scales are dermal in origin next type is cycloid scales the cycloid scales are thin flexible translucent dermal plates that are found in lower telluroids like labio cutla cod diploid and holisty and uh, lung fishes they are composed of thin upper layer of bone and lower layer of fibrous connective tissue pulp 
cavity is absent in case of cycloid scales. They are roughly circular or rounded in shape, thicker in the center and thinner outward, thinner towards outward margin. They are located in the dermal pockets and possesses concentric lines of growth, hence it is cycloid. Lines of growth are used to determine the age of fish. The free border is more or less rounded and remains exposed while the posterior part has numerous longitudinal grooves for getting nourishment from the skin. Scales are soft, arranged lengthwise in diagonal rows. These scales are derived from genoid scales in which genoid, cosmine and bone cells are lost. Scales covering lateral line are frequently perforated by permitting the passage of small connectives of lateral line to outside. Next is tenoid scales. Tenoid scales are found in higher telutes like perp, sunfish and actinopterygian fishes. You can see the diagrammatic representation. This is the anterior vessel end. These are the groove and you can see the lines of growth. And this is the posterior free end and these are the teeth or spines. And that is the reason it is called as a tenoid scales. These are thin, soft and translucent plates. Its groove-like part is firmly attached and its hind teeth bearing part remains free. These scales are embedded in small dermal pockets. They bear concentric lines of growth with posterior teeth-like projections and hence the name are the, the name is tenoid. Many longitudinal grooves are present on the posterior attached end which is used for getting nourishment from skin. Pulp cavity and dentine layer are completely absent. Scales are arranged obliquely so the posterior end of one scale overlaps the anterior of the next. These scales are derived from genoid scales in which genoid, cosmine and bone cells are lost. Thank you.